Cut and scale guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video we have another weapon review to do, it's going to be another raid weapon just because I haven't got through them all and obviously I was late to the party and it's going to be the No Feelings. Now this is the skate rifle from the raid, it's RPM is 180, there is something really cool about this weapon, not the one I have at the moment unfortunately. I did get to curate it, I think it should have been in the curated to be honest as well. But this is the only scout rifle in the game that can actually roll with the perk box breathing. It's the only thing other than a sniper that can actually roll with box breathing. So basically it would increase the TTK to this to a really good amount. I think it's up there with Lunas and stuff. We don't have the box breathing, we've got the curated roll. So that's what we're going to go in with. The curated, this is what Bungie deemed to be a sort of decent roll or if they were given the static roll out, this is what they would use. So without further ado, let me go in and show you the roll I got. No feelings, lose yourself in the moment. So as you can see, it is the creator. That's why it has that sick ass skin, the Midnight Smith. It looks uh, super good. It also rolls with a level 10 masterwork of handling. That is the curated roll. And as I said, it is RPM 180. So it's intrinsic is obviously going to be precision frame. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. Next, we're going to have the sight, Mirian or DS, lightweight sight, short zoom, increases handling speed, increases range. And then the other side is going to be the Satao Precision Lens, Precision Scope, Long Zoom, greatly increases range, decreases handling speed. And then for the magazine, we're going to have a Pended Mag, this weapon's magazine is built for higher capacity, increases magazine size. For the trait, we're going to have Full Auto Trigger System, holding down the trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. And last but not least, we're going to have Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon, increases its stability. This is the curator roll though, as I said, it has a skin and obviously because I can't change the perks out much. But you can actually roll, I think it's this one, this can actually roll as box breathing. I think the curated, if they were really going to make a really good gun, it would have full auto with box breathing. But this is the curated itself. Is it a god roll? I don't know, there's no kill clip or anything, but full auto on a scout is always a bit of fun. And as I said, it's 180 RPM, so it will be a 4 tap at full auto, so it should be pretty nice. But without further ado, let's go into PvP and test the no feelings out. Alrighty, the map's gonna be Ender's Veil, and what's the game? Mo control. control. Okay, you know what? I don't really care anymore. Because control, I can actually pick them off at the objective. Okay. But this is the no feelings itself. This is the side of it as well. I, I could throw on Sato one if you want. Actually, I might as well. Just while we're here, but someone better not kick my ass. If someone even tries tickling my booty, I'm gonna be annoyed. That's the Sato though. It's kind of bulky. Maybe for scale to be good, but it's long range. I love this site though, the Mirian. I think the Mirian is a beautiful site. But, oh, they're going for B. This is where we're going to just full auto their ass. Boop, 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 boop. How did I kill that other guy? What? The, what? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was really bad. Hey, we got a kill, though. I mean, <laughs> it fires pretty quick, though. It's 180 RPM. But it actually fires super quick. Now, uh, with the full auto and stuff. Now, I probably should have killed that guy. But you will see, it is a fourth, a fourth-ish tap. But, oh, the team shots, boys. Oh, that is what I want to see. And if I could aim. Oh, my, oh, my God. Oh, oh, Bobby. Bobby, 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 uh, go get your propane and leave me alone. Oh my god, uh, yeah, 55 to a dome, so it will be a 4 tap. And it should do max range at most ranges, like, I couldn't see it doing... Oh, he's gonna come up with a shotgun. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's Crimson, it's Crimson. Why did I go close with a scout? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. But the thing about the scouts are that I'm pretty much in max range, like, all the time. So, I... Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. I wouldn't really worry too much about range fall off and stuff, and this guy is really gone for my eyes. Oh my god. Can someone who's in spawn just help me out? Like, you... You! Oh! Oh! Jump! Oh! What? He, was I... Br oh, I was obviously melting pointed as well. My gosh, no one on spawn could have helped my ass. Uh, yeah, I feel like this was not a great map for this sort of split, uh, weapon. I mean, that's fine. This is fine. Uh, okay. Okay, that would have been fine if I could aim. <laughs> I mean, I just have to sit back a bit, I think. Uh, weaken him. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. See, it's fine when you sit back. I, mean, I just need to use a scout properly. But honestly, it actually feels pretty good. Don't For something that has no feelings, <laughs> it feels pretty good. That wasn't even a good pun or anything. That was just dumb. Um, but like, if... Oh, he's gonna put up the wall. Oh, he's so weak. He's so weak. Buddy, buddy, tickle him. Tickle him. Tickle him, you son of a... Oh, he has me marked as well. You could have tickled him a bit, but nope, you didn't do it. See, this is the thing. I can probably do this, but this pulse rifle territory as well. And that's a rift. Oh, my God. Put up a lot. Get away. I'm Donald Trump in your ass. Oh, that's hammers, though. He's chilling. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, he's down. Oh, he's so weak. Come on. Buddy, you could have thrown that better, but... Oh, we actually got him. <laughs> hey, we're actually getting kills now. I literally... I just got to get in the right spots. That's the thing about scouts in PvP. A lot of the times, it's just... 
really depends on the map. Like, I mean, pulse rifles work everywhere. Scouts only really work on the big ass maps. Um, this is big ish. There is lines of sights. But obviously, every single line of sight that I can actually shoot at people, a pulse rifle can do the same. And I'll probably get domed by them as well. This guy is he's weak on a point. Oh, oh my god. Like, look at that. He freaking made me weak. Take my name. Please tell me I hit him. Oh, I, I, I actually threw it at him. My god. Like, that's what I mean. Pulse rifles are just going to absolutely destroy me there. We're going to hammer it up. I think there's a daybreak going in, but... Oh, how did he get away there? Screw that guy. You can die. This was not a great hammer. That was not a great... Oh, we actually got that guy. <laughs> the thing is, as well, this week, if you watched or read the This Week of Bungie, a lot of uh, supers got nerfed, which is pretty good. I mean, the L Nova Warp got nerfed. You can't one-shot supers anymore, which is really sweet. And we're going to get that guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> no. Oh, thank God you're here, buddy. Oh, oh, it's a teammate. But yeah, Nova Warp got nerfed. Um... The El Blade Barrage got nerfed. Um, there's a couple of things. Oh, this is ours? Oh my god, if I knew that, I would have sat on this. We are going to demolish some mofos right now. Look at that. <laughs> Mage. Uh, I am loving this. Rifty boy. I'd be better off on the bigger maps. Like, this is fine. I mean, Pulse Rifles can kind of struggle there. But most places, they're not going to struggle at all to kill me. There's like the lines of sights in this map. Pulse Rifle territory. Come on, come on. Can I actually aim? That would be nice. There we go. I think scouts in general, they haven't been in a great place. I mean, I think the ones like can tree tap are actually pretty decent and stuff. But like, this is what I mean. <laughs> oh, we actually killed him because he missed a lot of shots. Oh, come on. Last few kills though. Can we get some people? Someone there? Oh, yeah, there he was. Uh, oh, there's someone there. Pop up. Oh, there's a pulse rifle firing at my ass. Uh, you know, screw this. This last few kills. Oh, take the hammer. Oh, we actually did get him. Screw that guy. Screw you, buddy. Oh my god, I missed that shot. Uh, nothing can stop me now. I'm supered up, boys. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But honestly, the gun itself actually feels really nice. It's super stable. I know Zen Moment's kind of useless for me on PC, but it actually feels pretty nice. Uh, for something like a scout rifle, I did pretty well there, I think. What was it? 24 kills, 3.43 efficiency. It wasn't a very long game. That's why it wasn't much kills, but we actually did get a few with the L No Feelings. Alrighty, time for the PvE side of the review. Of course, we're going in with the L No Feelings again. It is in PvE though, where it could actually probably be better. Scouts and PvP, as I said, they're really map dependent. But honestly, even in PvP when we're using it, I thought it was actually pretty decent. Um, as far as scouts go, it's 180, so it's kind of like a, kind of like Nameless Midnight. Nameless Midnight would be the one most people know, which is the Vanguard Scout. It's sort of like that, and this it does actually do some mean damage. The only thing is, obviously, it's always the same with scouts. The difference between uh, precision damage and uh, body shotting is massive. They do pack a bunch though when you actually start getting those headshots and stuff they like they probably do more damage than anything else but the only thing is usually it's the rate of fire that kind of is bad but when you've got a gun like this with full auto and 180 rpm it increases it by so much. And the, and the good thing about them is it's good for when you want to stay safe. They're really good for just picking people off from miles back because they actually they do both so much range of course they do this. They're scouts they kind of have to if they didn't it wouldn't be the greatest. But honestly, I did really like it in PvE or PvP. I thought it was actually really nice, and that's a guy. Oh no no no! What the what the hell was that? Oh my god! No no! That's thousand voices. It's thousand freaking voices. How do I even escape that nonsense? I should have jumped instead of sliding. Oh, I just seen him there as well. Can you get him, buddy? Can you get him? Come on! Oh, nice one, perk. Love it, love it, love it. But as I was saying, I did like a PvP. If I had the good map, if I got Equinox, this thing would probably go in. Because it does boast a good bit of damage. Now, I know a lot of people think, uh, if I was going to use a scout PvP, I'd probably use Maida and stuff. Which I'd probably agree. I think uh, Maida and like Jade Rabbit and stuff, they're such good scouts and stuff like that. Especially Maida. Maida was, is a great gun. But if you want to free up that exotic slot, of course, this gun will actually be pretty good for you. Now, this guy's going to be over here. This dude against the yellow bar, though, will actually do that much damage. Ah. It's not the worst. Uh, of course, it's not going to be ideal to be spending that much time shooting at like a yellow bar and stuff. But I've seen worse against these sort of things. But I just tret level his ass with a curated roll. Of course, I got a curated tret level after I do review it. Of course, I would. Here we go. Actually, you know what? The thing is, as well, scouts actually aren't a bad weapon to try and raid with. They're actually pretty decent and stuff. Because I can just pick people. Okay, thank God the drill didn't get in my way there. That would have been so annoying. I know I could I could use the scout and stuff, but it's literally it's just so much easier to use this sort of thing. Come on, get this guy. That guy got me weak. Come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> you know what? We got three of them. Yeah, scout rifles they actually are really good for invading and stuff. They do some good damage. Only problem is when you want to kill them quick, you don't have much time to invade. So you want to probably finish them off pretty quickly. But you know what? Not bad at all. And the thing is, I can probably sit back here and they, oh my god, they're gonna melt them. Oh no 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 no! Oh, they're gonna get him. Oh, come on, get this guy. Come on, we got one. Come on, we got two. Come on, we get back. Come on. 
Oh, I'm tattered. I'm tattered. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we actually got with a shotgun. Oh, uh, yeah, I think they might win this one. The power of a four man, boys. The power of the four man. We just got a summon as well. Buddy, go over, can you? Uh, no, they don't know. Oh, God, this game. Uh, nothing we could do there, buddies. The thing is, though, I really wish they actually did bring scout rifles back to, like, their former glory. They're not really used as much anymore. And I kind of see why, because pulse rifles, first off, are just pretty insane right now. But scouts used to be one of my favorite weapons to use. I thought they were so fun because they did so much damage, you could go at range. And they had no people used to have no chance on some of the bigger maps back in D1. The maps in D2 are kind of a lot smaller, apart from like the stock and stuff, so they're kind of not used as often. And I'm gonna have to get rid of all these because if they can invade, I'm screwed. Come on, go, go, go. But I would love if they brought them back to their former glory as in like they were just really useful, especially PvE. I mean, they're kind of decent PvE, and this one actually isn't bad at all. Like, this scout rifle is a good scout rifle. It's a scout rifle, that's its problem. <laughs> that's what I mean by it. Like, it's a good scout and everything. But it's just, uh, it's going to struggle when it comes to just using it in general because of how scout rifles are at the moment. Get rid of all these guys. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. But, like, this will probably be where it's decent as well. As I said, when invaders come into town, it's actually really, like, I can get this guy pretty weak. I was doing near enough to max damage. Buddy, perked. Oh, what are you doing, perk? Okay, I'll just shut up. Perk going in with his shotgun. My god, I didn't even know he's that weak. Wow, we can melt these things though. Like it actually does. That's what I'm saying. I do love the amount of damage scouts do. It's just that they're uh, they're just so slow. I mean, I, know, I get PvP. You couldn't actually have them like really fast or anything. But in PvE, you could definitely have them a bit better. Like that's what I mean. The stupid scout rifle are macroing son of a gun. Okay, there's one. I know I was using the scout, but I kind of had to wait around. Oh, there's two. Okay, these are all the positive emotes, so it's kind of a waste of time. Uh, but you know what? We, we're catching up. We're catching up because I invaded. I think in terms of the role I got, though, I think it's mainly if you're on PS4 or console, I think this would be a better perk for you. I mean, like, I have Zen Moment and stuff on this, or this role would be better. I have Zen Moment and stuff, which Zen Moment's good and everything, but it's uh, kind of useless PV or PC. Because we have virtually like no recoil or anything like that. But I do also feel that this gun would be so good if you actually had that box breeding on it. As I said, it's the only one that can actually roll box breeding. So I'm gonna actually try to get a roll like that. I might review it again if I ever do get it. Because honestly, it's just like it's such a fun thing to have. Now granted, box breeding is nerfed. Well, it's, like, it's not like the old days where it used to be just constantly procced when you aimed in. But it still would be a lot of fun and it still would be useful. Like it, just because it's hard to proc doesn't mean it's not useful. I mean, it's not impossible. I mean, you just have to aim for a little bit. And with scout rifles the way they are, you can pretty much just aim in for a while and get the kill. But come on, boys. We can try catch up. Uh, I don't think we are, though. It's a four-man. They have been melting it for a while. But Nick and Fight, you are definitely using Queen's Breaker. Where are you, bro? Oh, there we go. The Queen's Breaker going in. Oh, it's just so obvious sometimes. Come on, though, boys. We oh, 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 come on. Okay, we melt. Oh, we, we melt the point of them twice. Okay, I didn't even get my hammers in. Well, we can melt though. Oh, we are catching up and I'm dead. If I actually survive there, probably could have done it. But uh, yeah, that could be my B. I'm only here to review the weapon anyway. We don't have to win every game. It's annoying, but the format just bested us. But honestly, the no feelings actually feels pretty good. I do love full auto on a scout. I think it's amazing. But overall, we got 36 hostiles, 28 most deposited, 7 guardian kills though. Well, that's it for me and the no feeling scout rifle. Honestly, it's actually a really cool scout rifle. I think it's a really good one in terms of the sight and everything, the way it feels to shoot and stuff. And this is the curated role, so I do have a masterwork and stuff on it as well. I did feel that it was good with the full auto and stuff. A scout with full auto is always a dope weapon. I think the Zen Mom is kind of used for PC, but on console, it will go in for you. And I think overall, as far as scouts go, this is one of the best ones. Uh, this will be up there with one of my favorite scouts. Obviously, my, I I'm not really counting exotics because Mido would be in so with Jade Rabbit. But when it comes to uh, legendary scouts, I think the 180s are really good. So like Nameless Midnight, the No Feelings. But as I said, the only problem with this weapon is that it is a scout rifle. <laughs> scout rifles at the moment, they're god tier on certain maps like Equinox and stuff, but even still, there's certain scout or certain pulse rifles that can go just as far. It's just, I think it's just because of the meta. These aren't really in it. It's sort of like auto rifles. Auto rifles are fun to use and they can be pretty decent, but in terms of meta, they're not really there at the moment. And that's just, it's just the way the meta is. The meta switches all the time, so maybe sometimes in the future it will switch. But I just think, in general, scouts will probably never be meta weapons just because of the way the maps are built. 
Maps are too small to handle them. I think they need to be bigger. Like in D1, there was a lot of big maps you could get away with using the scout on. In D2, the maps still aren't as big, mainly because it was 4v4 at the start, and then we increased it to 6v6. So they kind of, they need a bit like bigger maps to really hold the scout rifles. You don't have to primarily use this weapon. Basically, when you, when you find yourself going into a map in Crucible, like on Equinox or on Vostok or something, with this bad boy out, it will take this one out and try it out because it will go in. It is a really good handling weapon. And I feel like the curated SG is nice, but if you got the one with box breathing, that will go in for you. It's just, as I said, it increased the TTK by so much. It's basically, it's a tree top headshot with a 180 RPM. That's really damn good. But as I said, this is the raid scout rifle. You get it from the raid uh, scourge of the past. So if you want to get it, you got to do all those encounters. I got lucky, got the curated. I actually got a ton of different roles. I got stuff with mulligan, stuff like that. But I just went for curated because it's curated. It has a masterwork and stuff. But yeah, go do the raid if you want to get this weapon. It's a really nice one. And try get a box breathing one. If you got a box breathing one, it will be unique, first of all. And it'll probably be really good for you too. But regardless, if you liked the video, try us like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.